presented by Forky TV. Uh, Ellen, I'm so glad that we're together again. Right, Chucky? Hey, Chucky, guess what I'm wearing on my hat? What? Mario's hat. <laughs> Very funny, Munch. You better put it back. Okay, I'll put it back. Okay. What did I miss? Munch was just wearing Mario's hat. Very ridiculous. Alright, guys, who's ready to watch the haunted mansion? I don't know about that, Chuck. I think that Poopy always has bad language in them. Oh, come on. You're such a chicken. I'm not a chicken. Oh, really, Wacko? Because you look like a chicken to me. Um, okay, not to do my own or anything, but why do you guys won't make fun of me, okay? Huh, maybe she's right. You shouldn't call people chickens, Knuckles. Alright, fine. Just put the movie in. Okay, I'll put it in. You guys are gonna love this. No doubt about it. <laughs> What's he doing? <laughs> what the heck? <sighs> guys, let me guess. You watched the THX logo. Wait, Mario, how did you get in here? That creepy much just scared us because he was afraid of the THX logo? I can't believe why well, he just did that. Yeah, and I don't know what his name is. Well, I'm sorry. I am Scooby Dooby Doo. He can call him me Scooby for short. Hey, what's going on? Uh, Master, uh, I am friendly. It's okay. My friend Munch is friendly. This is Helen, Jasper, and the others. Oh, let's see. Oh, if he wants to welcome to this house, he should stay. Well, that's a quick response. Well, I guess you can continue on with the Haunted Mansion. Yeah, and I hope Scooby-Doo likes this movie. Yeah, and he is our pup. No doubt about it. Yeah! <laughs> Scooby-Dooby-Doo! Then, Caroline, <laughs> we're at the clubhouse. Let's all head in and see what they're doing, shall we? No, Mama Tween. No, pal, not yet. Who is he talking to? Who is that cute bunny? Oh, him? This is my rabid Vincent Crab, or Vincent Short. Oh, that was cute. I think it looks just like you, Quickie. Yep, he sure is. Hey, guys, what's up? Hey, Princess Caroline. We're just decorating the whole clubhouse. Gee, you've been decorating the entire clubhouse. How long have you been decorating in this theme? Let's just say we've been decorating it for an hour. An hour, huh? Right. No, Angie Caroline. Hey, Vincent, you're so fluffy. Your mama says not yet. Yeah, serves him right. Well, let's be good luck to everyone. Well, well, how extremely nice. I know, right? It's just Tian and Dana's birthday today, and we're trying to celebrate it. OMG, it's Tian and Dana's birthday? Well, i never seen them before. Well, not to worry, but we'll get to see them when they get here. Oh boy, I can't wait to go to Bencho Billy's Pizza. Okay guys, so we're here at Bencho Billy's Pizza. I hope we're gonna play some games on our birthday. Well, we've never been to Bencho Billy's Pizza before, but this place is awesome sauce. And those animatronics are better than Chuck E. Cheese and Friends. You know, Tion, I think Chuck E. Cheese didn't have the ball crawl anymore. Right, right, that too. Well, I had I had the game token, so now I'm gonna play some games. Okay, well, we will do the same, so, yeah. They have pepperoni pizza, games, rides, and a ball pit. Yep, they have all the stuff they got at Benjo Billy's. Just creep me out. <laughs> but funny. Well, by the way, where's Dana? 
Where's the birthday girl? Hey guys, look at me! I did the bonus! Hey, there's the birthday girl. Huh, pepperoni pizza. How did that get here? Oh well, I'm gonna go take a picture of Dana while you get the others here. Mmm, that's a good pizza. Okay, Dana, we're gonna take a picture to stay still. <gasps> Is that Banjo Billy? Hold on, I'm gonna take a picture of you and Banjo. Okay, say cheese. Now that's a perfect memory. Would you giggle if I told you a silly joke? Would you giggle if I gave your belly a poke? Would you giggle if I tickled you on the nose? Would you giggle if I tickled you between your toes? <laughs> Ooh. Would you giggle if my pants were inside out? Would you giggle if my pockets were hanging out? Would you giggle if my shoes were on the wrong feet? Would you giggle if I said to you, you're so sweet? Hey Sonic, remember that Brittany gets on your nerves? Because she was hungry? Yeah, Tails. I think Brittany is getting on my nerves for no reason. Yeah, she should have eaten some pizza with french fries in it. Did you say french fries? Oh, no. Well, good. I didn't try it. Okay, okay. One hunger problem flashback coming up. So, guys, what do you want to do today? Mm, I don't know, Jasper. Something. Yeah. We can't think of anything what we should do. Hey guys! Hey Chucky, hey Jimbo. What you up to? We don't know. We're trying to think of everything. We wanted to stop by because of- Oh, oh, oh! Uh, can I tell him? Go ahead. Jasper and I were taking a walk and we wrote a song dedicated to you. To me? Really? Wow! I don't know what to say. Yeah, we better go now. I think we got some Eggmans to scramble. See you later. Bye Sonic, bye Tails. He's such a cool hedgehog. Yeah, this gratitude or something. Oh, what in darnation is that noise? Oh, that's my stomach. I'm not having any food. I think I'll ask Sonic. Hey, Sonic! Yo, what's up, Brittany? I'm really hungry. Can you give me a meatball sub? Okay. Don't listen to him, Sonic. I told her to pack everything for the picnic, but she didn't. She was being on the phone a lot. So, Sonic won't give me any meatballs up? Nope, not at all. Sorry, Brittany. Maybe later. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna starve! Hey, Sonic! I just know how to get a lot of meatballs up. Really? Yes. You should ask Snoopy if he got it. Wait, Sonic! Can you show me where Snoopy went? I don't know where he went. Oh. Please, I'm so hungry. See? Oh, I see what you mean. Come on, Brittany. I can take you there. Alright, let's go follow Sonic and Brittany. See you later, guys. Bye, Jimbo. Yep, we sure do know how to write a song about it. She always getting hungry every time. Brittany, don't tell me that was your stomach. Yep, that's my stomach. I'm so hungry. <sighs> Here we go again. Animals are a big part of our world. I guess I'm just one among many! Not all animals people talk about are real, like the dragon. In China, the dragon is very important. It is a symbol of strength and goodness. He also represents the spirit of change. 
Depending on what he wants, he can be seen or be invisible. He can become as small as a worm or large as the sky. The Chinese call themselves the children of the dragon. Today, the dragon symbolizes the entire Chinese nation. What about you? Can you create a mythical animal? If I could make up any animal, it would be a flying and talking leopard that I could ride. It would also be tame. If it were to fly upside down, I would clutch onto it with its stomach. I would ride my animal and go to like places um, because it could go to imaginary places. I would go to um, the places in the book, in the books I've read. My parents would, would take out an extra blanket for it to sleep on because um, in, a, in a forest or a jungle or a rainforest, um, a, leopard, um, a leopard doesn't have such a soft place to sleep on. I would name my animal Arrow. Now that's a great story. Hmm, what other mythical animals are there? The unicorn. This mythical animal looks like a horse with a long spiral horn right in the middle of its forehead. The horn was thought to have magical powers, like taking poisons out of rivers and bringing dead people back to life. Today, this animal symbolizes purity and love. So, whether it's a dragon, a flying leopard, or a unicorn, people all over the world love the magic and power of mythical animals. What about you? Thanks for watching the show. We'll see you guys next week. Team Four Kids Variety Show. Bye! See you next time. Bye!